Hey guys, welcome to All Street Comics Off Topic. We're your host, Kirby Kid. Black Superman. Age of Astron. Also known as David Clark. Walter Bryant. And Ashton Illich. And uh, today, obviously, we're talking about Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Woo! So we're going to do a quick so I had to do it. two minutes of what we each think of the movie without spoilers. And then the entire rest of this episode is going to be so full of spoilers, it'll make you sick. Mm. Ready? Oh, wait. Go! It was beautiful. Okay, Walter. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say two minutes, man. That's... Two minutes total. Oh, two minutes total. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was totally awesome. Loved every second of it. We're better than all of you who didn't go see it. Wow. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's, 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 yeah. I, um, the, the movie was just amazing. I mean, it had its flaws, but it was a return to form, honestly, that we haven't seen in 35 years. Right. I, I, I think great. a lot of it was just being pressured because there, I mean, everyone was like, "If this is anything like the prequels, yeah, you're done." <laughs> I, I think what what staggered the prequels was the fact that there was one person who had his his way that he wanted to do it, and he wouldn't listen to anyone else. With this movie, there was a lot of collaboration between you know production with Kathleen Kennedy and J.J. Abrams and and everyone else, uh, Lawrence Kasdan, and everyone who made Star Wars past and present and, and future-wise, collaborated to make this movie. It was a great effort. And also they listened to the fans. And they listened to the fans. I mean, you know, it, it's one thing to say, I've got a vision of what this is, put this vision down, and then that vision be this awe-inspiring thing. That's what episodes um, 4, 5, and 6 were. Mm -hmm. what, he did, what he did with episodes 1, 2, and 3 was he had a story he wanted to tell, and he didn't give a crap what you felt about it. This was the story he was going to tell. Right. Yeah. And I think I think he could have done that a little better if he just like you could still tell your story. You just need some people to help you tell it. Right. It, it it's like no no one just no one at Marvel or DC writes a comic by themselves. There are people with them who tell them, hey, really? That's stupid. Like, don't do that. <laughs> Metachlorians. Yeah. Oh. Which are gone now. Praise they're Jesus. Not gone. They're gone. But we, they're gone. We, we, yeah, yeah. we don't. We, we don't. We don't like like Jar Jar Binks. We don't acknowledge it. No, no, no. Han actually said the Force is magic. He said it. So it's, 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 it's yeah. <laughs> straight up it's magic. magic mumbo jumbo. I never believed it until right. my son. No, it's well. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I, I love the Falcon coming back. And mm -hmm. uh, I, I love how just... We're like, going into spoilers. It's a, no, people know the Falcon's back. We're going into spoilers. No, people know the Falcon's back. Let's keep it back. Let's keep it back. The Falcon is back. It's Spider. on the commercials. If you don't know it, you're Spider. a moron. <laughs> okay, so I love <laughs> how they called it the, the whatever, it's model, like the freighter uh -huh. number. And then like, oh, wait, it's that one. It's the Falcon. I love how everyone just, everyone like knows and respects the Falcon. And no one will ever destroy it because they respect it too much. Didn't this thing do, what is it? Do the parcel run in 14 seconds? 12. It was 12 seconds. <laughs> 12 seconds. He was like, so grumpy. That's my record. The, the ship was super duper nimble. And I think this is what they wanted to show mm -hmm. in the original episodes, but they didn't have the technology. And a lot yeah. a lot of things they did in this one were things they wanted to do the first go around. Yeah, but couldn't. I mean, it, it and it looked amazing. Too. So good. It looked good. And like, we, we saw it in the box, so it look. felt great as well. Yeah, we were, we were weird. Sure. We were, yeah, we were, we were moving with the Falcon. Yeah. So it, yeah. it really is good in 40 Oh, oh it's so oh, good. Man. That makes oh, me, so good. That makes See, me, I already have my tickets. You can so. feel the force. Like, like there, 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 are, there are parts, you know, like, obviously Jedi and Sith, there's times where they're just holding their hand out mm -hmm. and you're kind of just like waiting. If you see it in D-Box, you will feel the force. Let's talk about a little bit, um, the build-up to, to the Force Awakens because, mm -hmm. I mean, I think that was the part that I enjoyed the most, just knowing that it was going to happen and. Being able to, you know, interact with people who are also Star Wars fans and and kind of just uh, just can just enjoy the moment. By this week, everybody was a Star Wars fan. Yeah. People who've never seen Star Wars were looking forward to seeing this movie. Yeah. I, I, my kids have never seen any of the Star Wars movies. That, that is my failure Terrible. as a father. Yeah, you have failed. Them. I, I, you I, have I, failed I your that, children. Yes, that, that, is, that is my failure as a father. But I'm going to fix that this weekend, and then Monday we're going to go see the movie. Um, but. People who've never seen anything about Star Wars were, were very happy, except for this one senator. But anyway, I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always a senator. <laughs> always someone. Like, and and Fox <laughs> News, which, by the way, is why I don't watch you. That's why you don't watch them? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah that's it. That's that's it. That's I, I looked into the no, future no. and saw the That's they enough. <laughs> it's like, you know what? The lying, the racism, I could take. But you hit Star Wars. You've gone too far. 
Okay, and now we're going to go into the part where there are spoilers. So you have three seconds to pause it, go see the movie, and then come back. What I want to talk about first is our introduction to the characters. Now, we are first introduced to Poe Dameron in this movie, and I thought it was funny, it was great. I mean, it was the perfect tone, everything perfectly set up, and we see Poe interact with this uh, character, and he's retrieving the, the hollow crown or... USB drive. Or whatever. It, was, it was a USB drive. <laughs> That's how they're gonna yeah. look. <laughs> yeah, right. And um, I thought he was he was charming. He was funny. He was witty. Um, we see BB-8, which was adorably, uh, right? Amazing. Adorably yeah. amazing. They are sentient. These droids are alive. The, they These are Skynet. Are alive. They I, are Skynet. They are beyond Skynet. <laughs> they probably. I wonder if there would be ever be a four sensitive droid. There, there probably already is one. Archer. Okay, now that's that's just <laughs> destiny. You're right. <laughs> they already have that. Already. But um, we saw that, and then we see Kylo Ren, and and the stormtroopers come in, and they come back with a vengeance. Dude, okay, that scene, I finally saw something that I always wondered if it could happen. Kylo Ren stops a beam. Whoa. Mid air. And that scene, I was like. And oh, it hung there. That's crazy. He did, he energy didn't dissipate. He willed it to keep its form until he was done with it. Right. He stopped everything in that in that vicinity was the dust from moving, the air, yeah. everything. Doom. Just boom. Oh. oh. And he did it. Uh, okay. You know, like we all know that the force is 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 mind controlled, but like a lot of times they aim it with their hands or whatever. Just watching him actually stop holding it, but it's still there. And that's that's just a testament to what JJ is doing. He brought something from I think it was from the the Star Wars The Force Unleashed, where, mm-hmm. where the Force was actually a manifestation and it was like an energy that you can see and perceive. I like I've been I've been waiting for that because forever for the longest time it would look like they're having this really intense battle of of rock paper scissors. <laughs> <laughs> like, paper, paper. <laughs> paper <laughs> and now it's just like even when you would see um, Kylo Ren who was the prominent force user in this movie where he would um, force or torture that, that weird torture thing that he would do yeah, where you can kind of see they're like having this mini seizure but they just come it was, it was awesome yeah and in 4D you can feel it which makes it even that much better I'm telling you it's it like, you. You need to see it in 4D to have be a yeah, complete you feel, experience. You feel like a little pressure on you, Ooh, and then yeah. and then you shiver. So do you get the I mean, glasses like the cool? Like no, 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 the no, 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 no. That 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 adds another like four dollars to it or something. Yeah, like no, that. we do. I'll, 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 yeah. I'll pay that for some. Glasses. <laughs> <laughs> right about now, I'll pay anything. If you, if you wear the glasses, you actually get to use the force. Actually, that's actually yeah. That's a great. To put the lightsaber in your hand. It's is, a really yeah. good four dollars. Speaking of lightsaber. <laughs> Now, J.J. was going for a more savage kind of style uh, with the lightsabers, which um, I guess would kind of explain how newbies can pick up a lightsaber and go to battle with Kylo Ren because there's no fancy forms that they had back in like the Jedi days. Um, but did you guys like the fight scenes in this one? I liked the fight <clears throat> scenes, but um, I think that you kind of have to explain. You have to explain them because, I mean, Kylo Ren has been trained by Luke Skywalker. So, really, honestly, it doesn't make any sense that somebody who either doesn't have the Force or is a total noob to the Force walks in and then takes him in a lightsaber fight. Well, at that point, he he was already injured. He had to, he's well, he's he was, injured, but right. still. And don't forget, though, even Luke was essentially self-taught. Because, like, if you go back to, the, to 1, 2, and 3, mm-hmm. their fight styles were very fancy because they would actually get up, go to school, learn the forms, so everybody had a flair to it. Right. Luke learned it in combat. So his is a little more savage. So everything he teaches would also be savage. I just personally didn't like the kind of the kind of the way it was shot. Well because it seemed like I couldn't really see what was going on. And, and remember I told you that was my one fear mm-hmm. for, the, for the lightsaber fights was that I wouldn't be able to see what was going on because I had the same problem in Star Trek. I disagree. I think the fight scenes were clear. Um I don't know why I guess what I didn't like about the fight scenes, if any, if, if it's just one thing, is that they weren't as fast-paced as, as the first, or the prequel tri- trilogy, which mm-hmm. I think they did an amazing job with the fight scenes, and that's about right. it. But, um, I mean, that honestly wasn't a huge ding for me. Mm. I think Kylo Ren's lightsaber was pretty cool. I like their explanation of the lightsaber, and I think it kind of fit with his character, especially since he's kind of, um, he's this 
the spoiled kid who wants to be, you know, like he, he just basically is a big tent a temper tantrum. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then his sword kind of was a reflection of his personality. Just so um wild and kinda Yeah, it's so unstable. unpolished. Yeah. yeah. But yet uh powerful. All right. You know, it, it's it it was Kylo Ren and I, right. I I enjoyed it. Now one thing that kind of threw me uh, for a loop was that Ray seems to be stronger in the Force than Kylo Ren, mm-hmm. which is totally illogical. No, maybe a bit, maybe not because this again, guy cause th- th- this guy stopped light. Well, but, <laughs> but, 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 but look, but he's also fighting a war with himself, even uh-huh. as he's using his powers. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, Dark and Light is fighting within him. I mean, he's even, he even said that. So, he's go- not going to have access to the full range of his powers right now. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And then, But he couldn't pull a lightsaber out of snow. He, no, no, no. Well, they were it was taken people. away from him. Right. And see, like, that's kind of what I didn't get, was that he, he he's shown, if we're being honest... He has shown more mastery than Vader did in the movies over the Force. Mm-hmm. And for a newbie to pull it from his hands, I mean, th- I mean, the only thing that will make this acceptable, obviously, that he's, that's, that's probably his sister. And that they have that same Force they, potential. And they have to have the greatest explanation as They're to why have to. she was on that planet alone. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. And, and why her parents didn't recognize her. Yeah. Especially right. Leia, who's Force sensitive. Right. And I'm hoping, right. I'm hoping that they, they acknowledge the fact that Kylo peering into her head with the Force is kind of what gave her a cheat sheet. Because otherwise, it makes Kylo look like a paper tiger. You know? <laughs> if they don't say that, oh, well, I, ha- I actually got jump-started, so I have the cheat sheet in front of me. Yeah. Because she went from having, not even knowing the Force was real, to going, yeah, I got this. You know, I also <laughs> thought it was kind of weird for her to use the Jedi mind trick, even though I guess you could say that she was able to peek into Kylo Ren's mind learn what he learned, and yeah. learned a little bit of what he learned because she had a pretty pretty uh, well-endowed understanding of, of who he was. Right. And that could just be her talent because when she touched uh, Luke's lightsaber, she saw all that stuff. No one's done that before. She's, so she's she may, obviously very strong. She may have a, a unique talent mm-hmm. that uh, like maybe Kylo's is more physical but hers is more, I guess, she, spiritual in tune. Right. You know, which if they explain it, Great. As long as it has a great explanation. <laughs> right. Please, please address it. Please address it. <laughs> well, I mean, they're going to have to address it. I mean, just because that alone, um, if that works out for other Jedi or, or for other Force users, that's going to be a way to bring more Jedi. And, mm-hmm. and we're going to have to have more Jedi because, let's face it, the, the Republic right. is gone. Well, and do you think yeah. more Jedi or more Force users? Because... They, well, more Force users yeah. in the next movie, and more Je- and then Jedi in right. the last. Well, because I'm thinking because the, the I think because the, the Jedi Order was also not very great either. I think the whole well, Jedi Sith mm-hmm. thing, they need, they need to get get rid of both those sides and just yeah. have Force users. Well, no, I mean, I think like I look at the Jedi a lot of like um, Jesuits. Mm-hmm. Um, in the beginning, they may have been exactly what you wanted to be—a force for good that was mm-hmm. a, that was endowed by God. But eventually, they became this political tool. Right. And so that's they kind need of to avoid happened. being that. Yeah, yeah, they need to avoid being that. Right. I thought it was interesting that I mean, usually we see a character who turns from good to evil, or who who is good and is battling with evil. Right. But in this movie, we saw a character which is, is pretty new. He's battling with the good in him, and he's trying to suppress that. Right. I thought that was. That was pretty interesting. Actually, but see, like in in the parts um, five and six, that was kind of the problem with Vader. Like every time he ran into Luke, he started having to battle the good in him. So it's something that they've actually addressed before mm-hmm. in, in the Star Wars in, in Star Wars lore. I mean, so uh, it's not really something you haven't seen before. It's just that it was really, really obvious well. and yeah. prominent with him. Yeah. It's, a, it's it's a part it's a part of his. I mean, he's um, talking about backstory. It. Yeah, like I feel the light calling me. You know, and I, I really hope they give us a good reason for why he, he went to the dark side, maybe some mind manipulation or something, because and, and, it, it, it yeah. seems like his life was great. And how, how did Snoke come into play? Because obviously everyone is familiar with him, you know, Leia. Uh, they, he had to have been close right. to Ben in order for, and his Ooh. name is Ben, which is yeah. like, right. I was like, oh yeah. my God, his name is Ben. Right. Uh, but he had, he had to have been close. He he, been I think close he's either friend. the Emperor or maybe the person who taught the Emperor. Because they had to be somebody who was already 
pretty established. Like, it's not someone who came up in the last 30 years. You know, like, it, it needs to be somebody who was around mm-hmm. during uh, uh, the Emperor's time. So, and his, like, half his face is gone. He obviously got into a, I think Luke did that. You think I Luke think, did that? I think he got into a big... I think uh, what happened was Luke had his Jedi Academy, mm-hmm. and Kylo Ren went in with, with uh, Snoke, a la Anakin, in the Jedi Temple, and, right. and mm-hmm. slayed all the young ones. And Luke jacked them up. And Luke and was like, get out my house. Yes. <laughs> uh, spoiler, guys, Luke doesn't talk in this movie, but I did love the the master feel we got from him. When yeah. you saw him, you were like, he finally got it. Because remember, yeah. we only saw him being a student turned sort of master. And we and and all of what we've seen from him post, you know, uh, Jedi, the the I can't even think of the name right now. What the hell? <laughs> help me, help me. It's it's okay. late. It's late. It's late. It's late. Return of the Jedi. Yeah. <laughs> After Return of the Jedi, we only saw him in all the comic books. So, right. I mean, we've seen his character evolve, but now that that's not canon anymore. Thank you, Disney. Thank you, Disney. Which, yeah, and uh, he's also wearing black all the time in, in, in those books and comics. Yeah. Which now he's wearing he's, Jedi colors, mm-hmm. which is anything but black, literally. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I liked it. And I, I'm hoping they bring in some some other characters. Like, one character I've been interested in lately is um, um, ah- Ahsoka yeah. from, uh, from Clone Wars. They don't kill her. If you're watching Rebels, you know, I haven't, she, been, she, I haven't been. Oh. I've only seen the first three episodes. Okay, well, she's she's in Rebels. Shh. No, no, I'm sorry. No, she's on the commercials. Don't, this don't, is the spoiler no, side. She's on commercials. No, wait. Oh, I, I know. I know she's in. I know yeah. she's in the show, but don't please. Don't I won't tell you anything about her character, but obviously because she mm-hmm. left the Jedi Order, she now has white lightsabers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is white. White is when you leave the Order and you're not on either side. Right, right, right. She's never been killed. That would be great if she showed up. I think yeah, she I'll, might. Yeah. I think she might die at the end of the season. though. Well, if, if she's not dead, she would be really good to help Kylo Ren because he looks up to Vader. Well, Ahsoka was trained by Vader. Mm-hmm. That'd be great. Because like, they've been making a big play on her character lately in the show. Well, yeah, this would be they, a great tie-in. And they definitely said that, um, well, at least in, in terms of Rogue One, that they're mm-hmm. going to pay attention to the fact that Rebels exist and it is canon. So we might see... Oh. Mm-hmm. So, we so they, see, said, they said that they're going to bring it into. They didn't say that they were going to. They, they said that they, it. they know it, yeah. that it's there and it could potentially be introduced. So basically, if Rebels is super duper popular, they'd be like, "Yeah, we'll do it." Yeah, so, <laughs> and they should. So like yeah. the, the hundreds and hundreds of Star Wars books that have been written in the past thirty five years, those don't exist anymore. But the Except two cartoons, the two cartoons real. that have been on for the past like five years, mm-hmm. all of that, all that is canon. I, I think the books. I, I think I think they just said they're not canon. Until they decide to pull from mm-hmm. it, like, well, yeah, they, they're they leaving it open for right. themselves, you know. They reserve their right to even with uh, with Ben's character. With he's obviously like uh, like Jason or one of the uh, or Anakin. Or, mm-hmm. He's mm-hmm. obviously amalgamation of those characters, right? But I, I was I was hyped. Uh, the new uh, X Wing fighter, which, oh, which by the way, right. oh, was, was the original was, wow, guy, right? which was great. Oh, and it, it was, was it was so smooth. Poe Dameron, he the coolest fight he's scene? straight up magic. <laughs> Did you see him? Okay, look. This is a scene where he destroys crazy. like 35 kajillion people. Like, that is the exact number, by the way. 35 kajillion. Yeah. He just flies through. He's like a magic. And 11 parsecs. Right. It seems crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, he blows up like every TIE fighter with, with, within his sector. And he kills everybody on the ground yeah. except oh. for his friends. And I mean, he blasted everything around them and left them standing. And it wasn't, there, right? it wasn't, it wasn't explosions that killed them. He directly hit them. <laughs> From an X-wing fighter at top speed from the sky. Whew. <laughs> oh, just, oh, you're doing too much, it just, man. It just came. It, it was amazing. I'm like, I wanna, I, I wanna be you when I grow up. Not only does he <laughs> say I'm the best uh, pilot in the galaxy, yeah. he he proves it. Yeah, he is the best pilot in. And the galaxy. Kylo Ren had to go through a hell of a lot to get him to to get give yeah. him information. And uh, he he had, he had to, to read his mind. He had to use force. He had to use the force to do it. He couldn't like they, they couldn't do it through other means. Yeah, and he's tough. Yeah, and he's I, tough. I I want him, I want him to be a force sensitive pilot because we we we've seen force users fight uh, you know on the ground, but that'd be great a, a force user who who's... I think he is because he definitely believes in the yeah. force. And right. His, if you read this is spoiler this is a spoiler the yeah. show right we can mm-hmm. spoil yeah, yeah we're spoiling right. everything go so if you guys keep up with the the canon comic books there was a limited run series recently released by Disney of course called Shattered Empire, which takes place directly after Return of the Jedi. Six issues, and in the in the story, we go and we meet uh, Poe's parents, who are Resistance pilots, uh-huh. 
And uh, eventually his mother goes on a mission with Luke. This is fast forwarding to the last book. I'm sorry if you guys. Luke is on a mission to retrieve this uh, force sensitive force tree from Palpatine's old base. And so they go in and it's her, him, and I think C-3PO's there or R2-D2. One of the droids are there. Anyways, um, they get the trees and Luke gives them one of the tree, Poe's parents, uh, and they place it in their in their front house. So he's grown up around this, this force, force tree, tree growing yeah. up his whole life. So he could potentially be a force Wouldn't sensitive. Wouldn't that be cool? That'd be great. Yeah. Wouldn't that be cool if he's like chasing a TIE fighter that, that, that he can't catch? Evan just makes it stop so you can shoot it. That looks so cool. <laughs> like, I could crush it with the force, but it's more satisfying if I just shoot you. <laughs> and even and it, we even get to see Leia and her, her force sensitiveness. It wasn't necessarily yeah. like, you know, using it to say, you guys shouldn't do that or you should go. It was her sensing that Han had passed. Right. And I think I think it was a wasted opportunity for her not to, to have force abilities. I think, I mean... Obviously, she wouldn't be a Jedi Knight because she's a general. She doesn't have time to be walking out fighting people individually. Mm -hmm. But I, I really think she should have been taught some Force abilities. Yeah, but she was also, you know, part of the Senate. and She just didn't have time for yeah, all that. Yeah, she just didn't I mean, have she, time. she had paperwork. And, and, she had, and, and then she well, had no, a family, too. Right, yeah. but no, but you, 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 you have time to learn it when your enemies can stop light. And it's tracked. You have to. Well, then, then, then you depend on your. Then you depend on your brother, who's way better at it than you are. Oh, I mean the brother who left. Yeah, which is why you should have learned some force abilities. Well, he left after. <laughs> he left. Yeah. Right. No, but you should always learn. Like, look, you are the only Jedi Master right now. You need to teach me so that there's at least two. Because if you die right now, it's gone again. Yeah, it really is gone. So, I, she gone shouldn't have gone super deep into it, but she should learn things like force push. Or you know, be able to, to like pull well, things forward. Well, who's to say her. she doesn't know that though? I believe she was in an interview where she said she yeah she yeah she, yeah, yeah um she actually did. Carrie Fisher actually said that Leia never learned any of that. Right. She's force sensitive, but she never took the time to learn anything from Luke because she was too busy yeah. with with the Republic. Okay. And, and see, so, if Ray yeah. if Ray figured it out that easy, it doesn't make Again, sense you, that you, Leia shouldn't. You've pointed out that Ray also had a little bit of a jump start. So, but I believe uh, Leia has had thirty years to be force sensitive. No, because Luke left 30 years ago, so she well, only had like five years. She didn't leave, learn. She didn't leave 30 years ago. It was no. more like maybe 10 years ago. Right, no, but that. Leia has been around the Force for that long. Yeah. Like, things have been happening. You didn't pick up one trick? She probably just felt like she didn't need to, and then when, <laughs> when the thing happened, when the big incident happened that drove Luke into mm -hmm. exile... She couldn't really go to him because he had already left. See, but see, like, like I, I, I think she, that that was a missed opportunity. Cause I would have, like, I, I, look, we get it. You would have been too convenient. Well, no, I, I, I think it would have made sense, you know, because, because I remember how in episode six, or was it five or six, where when Yoda said there is another. Yeah. Since I heard that, I was always waiting for that. Means one day she's gonna get something, mm -hmm. because right now there's only one master. You can't just leave it being with one master. Well. I mean, she they did, did and, and now things and suck. And they took it away. And now things suck. Yeah, so... In the books, she was... A, she, she fought against the Palpatine clones and stuff. Yeah, yeah in that the books, she was basically a Jedi Knight. Yeah. Uh, yeah you don't no, waste so. potential like that. I, 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 honestly, you need to hand over the General Reigns for a while and go learn how to control freaking the Force because that's way more important. <laughs> My thing is, <laughs> what I found kind of weird was with... I like to call him Ben because, because it just feels right. Um... <laughs> But I, I just found it weird that since he grew up knowing who his grandfather was right. and knowing who his, his uncle is and his mother and Han, like, how could you even idolize Vader? I, Especially I, after you must know that he turned back, turned back unless Luke never mentioned Unless it. his mind's been changed. Or it, it doesn't make sense that he wasn't told the whole story. That doesn't mm -hmm. make any sense. Well, it, it, may, it may not make sense that, the, that he wasn't told the whole story, but he may not believe the whole story. Mm-hmm. I mean, because anyone can come can come back with Vader's head and say, "Oh, before before he died, he told me that he loved me and he's my father." And blah, blah. You you could you could say that, and then people go, "Yeah, that's Darth Vader. He blew up planets. I don't believe that." Right. You know, and then you have someone who maybe was around when Vader was around who no. goes, "I knew him," and there's no way that happened. Well, here's my thing, though. Vader became a Force ghost, right? Mm -hmm. Your grandson's like. Grandfather, show me the dark side. He should be like, hold up, son. I'm here. Um, don't be evil. Yeah, You're I being a jerk right now. I changed my mind after a while. And look, I'm forced to look at this. I'm all see through and whatnot. Look, I'm I'm passing my hand through right? my, my helmet. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, that that should have. But I've never, you know, like uh, uh, maybe it's a 
um, I don't know, just like not looking at it the right way or whatever, but they've never actually shown someone on the dark side looking at a force ghost. Right, but the light is still in there. That little bit of light? I yeah, so. but, but I mean, they'll the, the, be like Vader would have to choose that precise moment where, oh, okay, I found it. Hey, I'm here. Oh, yeah. Was not Vader the chosen one? He should have that ability. He This was, man he was a cho- lifetime of evil that. and in one second was like, nah, I was kidding. <laughs> because they're not open to that. So they, that, that could be it. That he's spiritually they're blind or something? Spiritual blind, kind of like in the, the Avatar universe. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, like uh, Cora had that problem, mm-hmm. where she couldn't she couldn't see she things that somebody were super else. obvious, yeah. and they were literally part of her <laughs> because they idolize their own power and not right. they, don't, they don't feel the need to look to the past. And let's be honest, that gigantic Sith Lord could be blocking their home too. I mean, the, the Force like some people adapt really weird powers in the Force. I'm really hoping this isn't a Wizard of Oz thing where when you finally meet the guy, he's like this big. No, it's straight no, is. No, they, they say he's going to be, I think he's oh, going to yeah. be huge because I, I just don't think it made sense for him to be on this giant platform if he isn't that Could big. Could you imagine his lightsaber though? That's what I said in the movie. I was like, oh my God, his lightsaber has to be huge. He's like, <laughs> it's a tree. Like, what is that? Right? That's crazy. <laughs> what do you guys think of Finn though? Finn? I like Finn. He's, Look, let's be honest. One, two, three, or whatever. <laughs> Finn is how every black guy would be in Star Wars. <laughs> like, guys, this man stopped light with his hand. Like, We're uh, running. You know, what, 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 which way is this train going? Because uh, <laughs> Kylo Ren is that way, so. <laughs> exactly. Wait, wait, wait. My hot girlfriend just got taken. I got to go get well, her. Well, first right, off, yeah. she, she definitely friend zoned him. I think he, had, he just seems like the... Play, well, for him, though, title. she was literally, from what he said, was the literally the first human being, or first being ever, that didn't approach him as a soldier or a weapon. Mm-hmm. So, of course, the impact on both of them is different. You know, she's like, yeah. oh, yeah, you're just a person that I met. He's like, you are the first person I've ever met. You've ne- no one has ever looked at me the way you... I was like, literally, she, literally. It was no kind of like heart-wrenching, kind of heartbreaking, yeah. kind of heartwarming. All right. I thought he was really charming and funny and... I thought he was really good. I, I enjoyed the journey. It was he? They've been selling this as he, this particular character's point of view is so different. We've never seen a stormtrooper with humanity before, so I thought that was really interesting to explore. We see mm-hmm. him. He becomes. He's a stormtrooper. He becomes a resistance fighter. Right. Oh, it was cool. He picks up a lightsaber. Yeah, that was cool. Except for the part where he got sliced in the in the back like a slave. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, just, thought, I thought I was the only one who had the thought. No. I was like, I was like, Toe. Your name is Toby. <laughs> I was like, is, that, is that solid? Is my, solid name, is slave? my name is Finn. Your name is F N. One old day or something. I was like, oh. I thought I was the only one who had the He's the first one that ever hit in the back of the Yeah, I was like, wow. Yeah. Why is his life? But other than that, I thought he was great. By the way, can we can we also take a moment to appreciate the fact that Admiral Akbar is back? So but like, he didn't say it's a trap. No, no, because it was not a trap. He is there for when it is a trap. It, <laughs> it, it, I, I hope, I hope there's a moment where he says it. Because I mean, I know it's gonna be kind of cheesy, but for me, it's like Neil before Zod. You just have to say it. Say yeah, it but, but you know what's gonna happen? He's gonna he's gonna start to say it's a trap, and somebody's gonna jump in front of him. It's a trap, right? And then you're gonna be like, oh. he, he, he'll be like this dude. <laughs> 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 I had one line, and you took it. Yeah, but he's he's still alive kicking though. That's I mean, that's crazy. Because mm-hmm. he was already old. And to begin you know, it surprises me. Yeah, fish age different. Yeah. It surprised <laughs> me that Han has never shot Chewie's bow before. Right? So like, you know. would think that he would have picked that up at some point and just started shooting, um, like, beer bottles or Chewie something. Chewie's very like. possessive yeah. of his stuff. Yeah, he's, uh, he slowed he's down his old age. Of, he's even possessive of his wounds. Yeah. He's like, stop healing me! <laughs> I will kill you! <laughs> what did you guys think of Ray, though? Ray? Um... With Ray, obviously, like I said earlier, I, I need them to address some of the things on why her force powers are growing so quickly. Um, they have some hints, but like I'd like some things actually addressed, which I think we're going to get when she's training with Luke. Mm-hmm. I think Luke's going to be like, oh, oh, clearly you have this, this, and this. Like That's why it's... Because, yeah, you know, they definitely... Who is this girl? Everyone's like, who is this girl? We've heard yeah. so much. Who is this girl? Who is this girl? Yeah, who is this girl? Right. What's her last name? We right. gotta know. But her fighting skills make sense because she's had to live by herself on this planet full of killers. Well, we mm. know she's capable. <laughs> yeah. So the fact that she was able to use the lightsaber isn't a surprise. Right. It just kind of was weird that she was... Well, I... 
I guess it wasn't so weird that she is force sensitive and she comes into it pretty quickly because when she's flying, mm-hmm. she tapped into that ability and when the when the blaster mm-hmm. was stuck in, in straight position, the way she flew the plane yeah. and positioned it in a way for him to be able to hit that. Do you think that was, that was force cool. or do you think that was just her being a good pilot? No, that though. was force. Because no, she's force, never yeah. flown <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely the force. What about Captain Phasma, though? So we didn't. I, I wanted. I don't know. Enough. There wasn't really enough of her, her doing anything enough. for you to understand. And she had a red and black cape. I, I thought what was going to happen. I thought she was going to be way more like go down to the planet side and destroy a village. I wanted to see oh, her destroy a village. There's more movies though, so and she's yeah. not dead. And she's not dead because if you don't see the body, it didn't happen. If she's not dead. I think General Hux was really, really. Hitler-ish. Oh yeah, did you give him a speech? Oh my god, like, yeah, dude, you are straight up Hitler right now. You are channeling really, Hitler right now. It was now. a really good monologue, and it was yeah. kind of like um, when they were developing the movie, they were saying, "Well, where would the Nazis go after you know the war?" And they would, this yeah, is definitely they're Nazis. Yeah, and BB-8, BB-8 gave a thumbs up in this oh. movie. That yeah, was that, that was he, he was like, "Don't be your droid." Come on, or, he, he, he's like, "Droid, please." <laughs> I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, that BB-8 was so so great." I, I love when Kylo Ren was having that freak out after Ray got out, and those two uh, stormtroopers walked up. They're oh, like, nope. "Nope." Oh, and speaking of stormtroopers, so really, really cool story. So earlier this year, Daniel Craig he announced that he was going to be making a cameo as a stormtrooper. Mm-hmm. And I was looking for him, I'm like, where's where's Daniel Craig? Where's James Bond? I thought he was going to be a star. And I was reading before we got in that uh, he was in a pretty funny, well, not funny, but it, I guess it was kind of funny. But he was the stormtrooper when that uh, raid used the giant launcher going, yeah. And oh, that's, that, that was him? Yeah, that was him. That was funny, yeah. yeah. Really funny. And he's like, oh, yeah, and drop your gun. I will drop my gun. Drop my gun. That, that was yeah, pretty that was funny, really though. Cool. Um, the TIE Fighters, I have a new respect for TIE Fighters. They were yeah. not punks this go around. Yeah. Even yeah. The stormtroopers, the tie fighters, everything about the the first order and the dark side wasn't kind of like a parody. No. Like the stormtroopers used to be kind of like a parody, All right? Them. And now they're <laughs> kind of like, oh no, yeah. the stormtroopers will shoot you. Well, because now they're not they will hit you. Now they're not defective clones. They're real people who've been trained since the day they were born. You since know? the day they were, which know. means each <laughs> loss now is actually actually hurtful. And mm-hmm. also. There's there's not as much um, censoring the violence. I mean, let, let's face it. Yeah. Thirty years ago, shooting somebody in the neck with a laser at the beginning of this movie would have gotten you an R rating. Finn shanked a dude with the lightsaber. <laughs> oh, that he was, was like, so ah! he was like, whoa! You should have gave me your your cornbread, boy. Right? <laughs> like, <laughs> this is my cornbread. You cannot have my. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, fair. I I hope he's force sensitive. I really do. You know, after. I, I really like Ray's character, and I don't mind that she's the one. So mm-hmm. I'm, I'm good either way. If he's not a force user, that's fine. Yeah, yeah I mean, like that's cool. we don't we don't hate um, female lead characters or female characters who are powerful. We hate when you shoehorn them into the power. Yeah, like the trailers that we were watching. Um, at the beginning of this movie, which what is that phase five or whatever? Oh, whatever wave, wave, okay, God. yeah, wave five, Th- wave five. I'm so that, sick of these these book movies. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't want to see nothing. She's Twilight, somehow, nothing. she's somehow gonna save Earth or whatever. And it's like, no, you have no skills and you are unimportant. These are freaking aliens. Yeah, yeah. even in the trailer, nope. she's really good at taking a gun from the guy who's been taking guns and shooting people for like ever. You're right. Uh-huh. It's what like. I mean, Cat she's like some a... normal person who wants her little brother. Yeah, and somehow she's going to save the world. I mean, granted, she's Hit Girl, so that helps. But... <laughs> and at first, I was like, oh, "Kick ass three. Yeah, no. <laughs> See now, Cat Cat is as, is as closest as we've gotten to a female main character in one of these YA movies that made sense. Because mm-hmm. you know, obviously, everything she's had to do has been around the bow and arrow. Mm-hmm. But Ray, though, Ray, though, had to live with a bunch of those thugs. She showed that she could already fight. Yeah, this is how she had to eat. Yeah, that's how she yeah. survived. And then, of course, she got that force jump start. And I really want to see her like when she makes her own lightsaber. I want it to be a a, a, a staff, staff lightsaber because yeah. that's that's her style. Yeah, like she, her lightsaber. She's not even carrying on her hip. She's like, no, nah, my staff's good. Yeah, you know, like she may actually be really, really scarily better than she than she even showed. Because I mean, that scavenger guy was getting ready to take that droid. That droid was must have been worth lots of lots for him. And she said no, yeah. and he said. Okay. <laughs> like, he's got a laser blaster right there. He's like, nah, okay. She yeah. said no. And yeah. left. So, Until he sent those goonies after her. Uh, right. But yeah, no. Nah. But he didn't go himself, though. <laughs> I would have liked to see Captain Phasma come down at that point. At least we would have mm-hmm. gotten a little bit more from her. I, I, I think they're probably, they're probably going to give her an upgrade because they, they already sold the Phasma regular toy. 
Now they have to sell the toy with her having extra gear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and now and that'll be her like she might get like that kind of that, that shock saber thing that they the, that, that one dude yeah, that the shock stick thing was really cool that yeah, was really yeah, cool, yeah. yeah. they could have really on. used that against Luke. that was really cool that probably would have really helped a little bit yeah I wonder if it's Mandalorian everything's Mandalorian Everything. that's how you solve it like if you, if you have a lightsaber and it doesn't break Mandalorian don't explain it any further than that it just it just it is now and in, in, as we go deeper into the movie we um we hit we hit somewhere close to home, man. And honestly, my reaction, I, I shed tears. Han Solo's dead, guys. When <laughs> <laughs> he was he was leading up to that, man. You you you, really, you killed the monologue. Yeah, yeah people have short attention spans. Han Solo's dead. <laughs> man, this, uh, this video's like an hour and a half long. <laughs> Not when I'm done editing. <laughs> Anyways, um yeah, man, that 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 part really hurt me. Like, yeah. Hansel's my favorite Star Wars character, and when he died, and it was almost kind of like, uh, and it, I just I wanted him to say that he loved him because right. I, I felt like he would have been saying it to me. But I think, you're right? <laughs> you're like, Daddy, what? But no, no. The, the hand on Kylo Ren's face, I think, is probably the most emotion we've ever seen out of Han in his mm-hmm. entire screen time ever. That yeah. that was, like, as good as he gets. The cinematography, especially in this the third act, mm-hmm. when I'm um, starting from when... Uh, Han and, and Kylo meet on the bridge and you see all this darkness mm-hmm. whenever there was a shot of Kylo mm-hmm. and there was hints of light kind of right. coming through it and then, then the and, sun went out and yeah and then you see all this light and he's like you know I, I'm, I've been battling there's there's this something inside of me can you help me right. and you, you get the, the feeling that maybe maybe there's some redemption in him but then I never get the feeling that I I, I got the, I got the feeling that Han actually knew as he was standing there yeah, that, that his son was getting killed. Well, he knew and after, so he, and after he, was, he couldn't grab the the, the guy the, the nah, I, 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 I think he, I think, I think, I think he, he did that because he was hoping, but I think he knew from the moment he stepped out that he was yeah, about to die. He, he knew when when, when he saw him walk across, he's like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm walking here to die. He knew mm-hmm. that. I mean, that's I'm a little young. But if, but if, but if but if I die, telling him showing him that I love him. Yeah. Like unfortunately he never said it. But if like if I come out and here if and he I would have said I, it, that uh, that scene would have meant so much more. It right. had so much more But weight. you know what though? I don't I don't think that there is no redemption from the dark side that leads to you living. Because even if you do come back, you've done so much stuff, someone's coming after you. Well yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I think he definitely made a choice yeah. when he stabbed his father. I don't yeah. there could potentially be a, a chance that he switches sides but you know, you never know. He, we don't he, know. He would like they would use him for fighting and Probably then right to jail. Probably Vader, maybe at, yeah. at the end of the, well, he, the trilogy. Yeah, he, but Vader doesn't. Vader, if Vader had survived, he doesn't get to have no, happy ever yeah, after he, either. He'd be he'd be in he, a he, forced he, prison. Yeah. One, he was, one of my favorite parts of the movie yeah. was everything. He was he stole the show. You know, but then again, only like a few people actually know who Kylo Ren is. I mean. Like it, it yeah, seems, lying. It, That's a good thing for the light side of the force. It might be. I How mean, you know, you know. If, <laughs> Let's if, if, if lie. You, you save, That's a good emotion. You save him from the dark side, and then you say Kylo Ren is dead. Oh, by the way, this is Ben Skywalker. Yeah. And yeah. then you but, just leave it at that. But that lie will lead to the fear of someone finding out. That fear will lead to doubt, and that doubt will lead to anger, and that anger will lead you right back to the dark side of the force, Boom. which he's already defeated. So <laughs> no, no, no. He'll fall again. <laughs> he's been there once. He knows he's more powerful there. It's like drugs. You can't, be, you know, it's, it's like, he's on the dark back. side. Mm. <laughs> right? Oh, you, you didn't know about me, right? <laughs> I'm going to talk side you. <laughs> uh, drugs. Oh, man, but, uh, <laughs> no, but uh, it was, it was, it was good. I like the Star Killer base. I like the fact that um, it, it pulls in a sun. Oh, my God. Um, it's literally a Star Killer. Oh, and by the way, I did have one more thought. In the middle of the Star Killer battle fight, uh, mm-hmm. battle, Star Trek has no chance. Uh, Star Trek, like, no. <laughs> all the all the people who say Star Trek can beat Star Wars, watch this movie, and I don't care how much you how much of a Trekkie you are, how much you love Star Trek, James Kirk, you don't have a chance. And here's one question I have about in, in Star Wars. Okay, Kylo sense the moment Solo hit the planet. But he did not he sense him it. walking ten feet behind him. Well, I think he knew. Did he though? Because he looked like he was like, "What? Oh my God, Dad! You, <laughs> Dad, no, you hear I Daddy?" Think, I think he knew. Do you? That's why he was in there. 
I, I think well, he probably would have walked in the building. I think he, he would. I think he, he would have walked too solo. Way. He was walking that yeah. way because he knew he was going. right. But he walked right by his dad, and, and his hey, Han could have walked away. Because that's not where he wanted to kill him. I think he wanted to kill him the moment he saw him. No, he wanted to kill him in a because he was he was in a hurry to prove he wanted to kill him to, to get rid of his body easily. He, he was he was uh he was ready to prove to um James and the giant peach dude that he's like hey, <laughs> I can kill this guy. <laughs> I can kill it. Yeah. What kind of race is giants though in Star Wars? Has that ever been explored before? Or are they are they a new race? We'll see. Cause that that would be weird. Like, what kind of lightsaber would you hold? I a can't. Tree. I can't comfort the force tree. No, well, no, cause Luke has them. He had them. He has both. Of we them. don't know if he still has them though. How long ago was that? True. Yeah. He could. He could have taken it from. That's the his force crystal. Is the tree. I'm just, I'm surprised Luke never took the time to repair the hand. He probably, because, he's probably just moving by the force now at this point. Yeah, at this point, he's just... He's probably like, I'm amazing. <laughs> uh, we, we, can't, we can't help the people that are stupid. But our, our our viewers aren't. No, you're all pretty smart. That's why you're here. No, but, uh, was anybody else let down by the fact that the only good trailer that we got was Captain America, and that didn't show us any new fo- footage? Well, hold on. First, Those you were in your theater. Terrible. What trailers did you see at your theater? Um, We saw Independence Day... We, we saw yeah, we, we the that. Fifth Wave. We saw that we one. Saw yeah. Captain America. We, that one. we saw Warcraft. Warcraft. We, we yeah, that was what we attached to. We we didn't see that either. It wasn't good anyway. So. It wasn't and good. then we got. You, so are you not a WoW fan? I am. I just didn't think the trailer was good. Okay. So he's a fan and hated it. So okay, that's terrible. Um, uh, we got we uh, got some some new Pixar movie. Oh, um, oh, the, the, the zoo. That was pretty funny. That was the, 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 the song. Yeah. It's nighttime? <laughs> what? I was like, <laughs> okay, I'll see the movie now. That was funny, but I can't sit through that scene again. You will have to. That scene is I've long. That, I've seen that trailer like three times. <laughs> that scene is <laughs> long. I can't, yeah. It's funny about Kung Fu Panda, too. Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, we, 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 we didn't get that either. We didn't get that. And the trailer was pretty crappy. We didn't get the Deadpool trailer either. We didn't get that either. We didn't get that either. No, you know, Batman vs. Superman didn't get that either. All right. Fox owns the first uh, Star Wars movie, uh, A New Hope. Right, which is why which they is, probably don't want to. Which is holding up the re-release of the, the trilogy on yeah. it. So I'm pretty sure that's that's why we didn't get any Fox promotion. Well, some of them have, like, uh, if you look at the, uh, like, there, there's a leaked photo of an IMAX reel of uh, Star Wars Episode Seven, mm-hmm. and the trailer attached to it is, uh, it, it's Deadpool, it's, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, Warcraft, um, Batman vs. Superman, and then like a couple others I didn't care about, but what is it like a grab bag where these movie theaters kind of give no no what, what, what no what, what it is it's a it's a it's a big silver box oh, yeah, that yeah, says yeah. for IMAX this says Star yeah. Wars and then it says the trailers that are attached. Well, I'm just saying like yeah, who determines which? Well, I think I think trailer? I think Warner Brothers paid a crap load of money to get Batman Superman attached to at least the IMAX ones. Mm-hmm. I was pissed off. No, we yeah, didn't. No, we didn't I was mad. I was like, this movie is lacking Batman right now. I know. I would have loved to see it on the big screen. Like they should have, they, they should have cut to a scene in one of the X-wing fighters as being Batman. Okay. Yeah, so now, now that we've seen it really quick, uh-huh. um, you know, to depart, two questions. My uh-huh. first question is, what color lightsaber would you guys have if you were a Jedi? Red. Mine would be blue. Uh-huh. I already know it's blue. Jedi. Mine would be the green or blue. Probably blue. You I Jedi's. Have them, just you Jedi's. I would have slain you as children. <laughs> I would have liked for it to have been purple, but I mean, I'm just like, I'm not that. I'm, I'm blue. Yeah. Red all the way. Two of them. Two red As many as possible. As many as possible. Six oh. of them? You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna get arms attached? Just, just grow arms. Like, yeah! Get some droid arms attached. Super Sith Lord. No, seriously, I'd be a Sith Lord easily. Always. <laughs> it's true, he would. It, wow. yeah. Every test. Every test. Always Sith Lord. I have never once been tested as a Jedi. And now that we've seen The Force Awakens, can you guys rate rank your favorite? Do you want to do one, one to ten to see what, how we feel about the movie? Wait, one to ten about this movie, and then rank our movie, like, yeah, the, our yeah. favorite, our favorites of the movies. Yeah. Well, I'm saying flat out, this movie is a ten. For me, it was a ten. There were flaws, but they weren't um, they weren't big enough for me to to ding it off. I was satisfied completely. Ten. 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 Yeah, no, this the, uh, I, I would agree with you. The movie's a 10. And, it, I mean, it's... They did everything that I wanted. Mm-hmm. Um, they gave me a couple of surprises I wasn't expecting. And they didn't go... They didn't step outside of Star Wars to do it. Yeah. Like, like the moment that, the, that this movie started, 
I was in Star Wars world, and they kept me there. They were very mm. careful with this movie, and it it, it it brought people, new fans and old fans alike, back into the world in a in a very um, safe, not necessarily safe, but a, a very uh, calm way. It was really great, really good, well done. Ten for me. Um, sorry, to be the judge from Russia, but I'm giving it a nine. The uh, the fights, the physical fights, the hand to hand fights, um, they were not up to par. They did better in episodes one through three on the lightsaber fights and the force powers. That's a fact. And they JJ did not deliver. He did the same kind of fighting that he did in Star Trek, which is what I knew was going to happen. It was like the shots were kind of. It, it wasn't as clear as what was happening. Like you knew what was going on, but you didn't see it. And the fighting was way too grounded to be done with a force user. So because of the fighting hand to hand, I give it a nine. Everything else was good. Yeah, but see, here's the thing. Um, I I understand what you're saying, yeah. but you had an untrained you had an untrained force user. A we don't know whether he's a force user who who both fought a trained force user who basically was fighting people he didn't have to go up against and he didn't really take seriously. Mm-hmm. So yeah, but the, the fight versus on. versus masters of the force who were trained, like you said earlier, uh, yeah, in the force and know all six or eight uh, forms of. Still, it's, 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 it was no excuse to kind of step backwards in fighting. Mm. Especially when you go, when one of the guys, even though he wasn't a force user, was, like you said, was a trained, was a trained fighter. He was a stormtrooper. He was taught how to fight. Not and they like were, that. And they, but not, but not, not like that. But like also, like they, were, they, they were he's taught how to fight. He was a janitor, and he just did the <laughs> So, to expect him to do that, and he didn't even want to No, they, they had training. You know why? He, he dropped right into this. You don't you don't walk into that without having at least seen some lightsaber fights. He had, seen and they had anti lightsaber. He had one fight before that, and that was with the, the stormtrooper. That was but still, though, it was it him. was it was not as well, it, it was not what I expected. It, it, was, it wasn't what everyone's entitled been. to their own wrong opinion. My anyway. opinion is correct, wrong. sir. The fighting went backwards. Eh. It went backwards. Eh. The so, fighting did go backwards, yeah. but it made sense and, why. But no, the, re- no, the reason why it went backwards has nothing to do with the story. It's J.J. Abrams because if you look at Star Trek, I'm telling you, a lot of things he did in Star Trek, he did here. I told you this uh-huh. uh, back when they announced he was doing it. He was going to do the fight scenes in Star Wars just like he did in Star Trek. I think the fight scenes operated in a way that the story allowed it to. I mean, you can not have those grandiose fight scenes like you did in those three trilogies because... Right. Well, I mean, those those characters weren't there in their story yet. But Kyle, you did except have, for Kylo yeah. Ren. But and he did display all those things that you say. He at could, the end, though, you could, had two characters that were capable of moving things with their minds. Ray barely tapping into that. She doesn't know how to do barely all of that. Barely tapping into yet. it, beat Kylo Ren in a, in a struggle of will. And then the planet well, started to blow she, up. Right. She, no, but she should. Like, after she had, uh, had tapped into the Force, and she's already a fighter, she just used that that Force ability to kind of enhance her. Her instincts as a fighter. But in the five minutes she had the force, she had a weird premonition from touching an item, learned how to fight with the lightsaber, learned the Jedi mind trick, mm-hmm. mastered lightsaber fighting. Kylo Ren was force pushing. She could have pushed back. And and, and honestly, when she was holding the lightsaber like this, at, at when she was getting it to fall off, mm-hmm. what would have been impressive, instead of this, oh, I'm going to just fight harder, would have been, no, force push. I wasn't. See, I was you know, waiting to like, see that too. See, I wasn't asking I was for Yoda too. versus Dooku where they're throwing, you know, parts of the planet at each other. What it, they they should have incorporated more force powers, especially when they're trying to showcase someone with unusually high brand new force ability. We've reviewed everything. We've we've given our rankings, our ratings. Yeah. Now, where does it sit? What do you mean? Like in the in the in, in the in the, tri- in the saga of Star Wars, where does this movie sit for you? Overall? Overall. What is your personal ranking? David, you go. It'll never be above the original for me. Obviously, because that... Well, like, what's your ranking? Yeah. Go through it. Uh, uh, like, order for, like, top, for best to worst? Yeah. Um, four, six, five, seven. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly my ranking. <laughs> three two. Three two. Uh huh. Well, I'll take this you, question uh, seriously. No 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 no. Yeah. Look, okay, people. 
I've seen episode one twice. Oh, so Why? Sorry. I've seen it twice. I'm so sorry for your loss. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I, saw it, I saw it once in the theater, um, and then my wife wanted to watch it. Mm. We like there was a star there was a Star Wars marathon on, and she asked on me to sit TV? In, yeah, on oh, Spike TV. That's even worse. Yeah, because <laughs> I had to I had to sit through like four hours because 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 the commercial was like four hours. Oh my god! So we watched it, and I'm just like I, I've seen it twice. Okay, and I am I I wholeheartedly mean this. With the exception of right now, when I just said this, I refuse to acknowledge that number one exists. That is me just being real. So Paul Wall gave uh, us some good things though. It gave us a really cool fight scene and gave us Qui Gon Jinn. Gorians? It gave us Qui Gon Jinn. <laughs> I no, no, the fight scenes were, 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 were it, 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 cool, the, the, the fight scenes were amazing. Darth Maul was I, I, I love Darth Maul. I and think that was really cool. You should have taken oh, all yeah, of the you should have taken. All of the Jar Jar Binks scenes and replaced them with Darth Maul scenes. We should have got rid of those pod racing scenes too. We didn't need that. We didn't need that. No, the games were fun though. The games were fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah they were fun. fun. That was that's that's true. I'm the race for my <laughs> freedom. No, <laughs> but see, I, I think like for me, because um, I was thinking about this in the theater, seven might be better for me once this next trilogy is over. Because like one thing that I just I I can't do is I can't separate the original trilogy from each other. It's really hard. Because mm -hmm. for me, because like when, the first time I saw it, I saw it all in one in a row so for me like they're kind of together so it's going to take seven's going to need eight and nine mm -hmm. to beat the original trilogy for me and see i'm like 15 years older than you and like 17 years older than you or something like that so i saw them when they actually came out mm -hmm. so i saw them separately i don't have that particular issue but um i also downgrade uh, for excitement like the 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 first time i saw avengers it's an awesome movie, and when I walked out of the theater, if you'd ask me what my favorite movie in the world was, I might have told you Avengers right then. But it's not. My favorite movie is actually The Princess Bride. <laughs> um, <laughs> and the reason, and, and, but but I had I have to take away from the excitement of that particular moment, mm -hmm. and, and then say, you know, you can't take a movie that I've loved for twenty years, and then because I saw this movie three seconds ago, say that this is a better movie. Now you you move five five or six weeks down the road, and I look right. at it again. And I go, okay, maybe I do like that movie better, but I can't do it that night. So I can't put episode seven, even if it is actually better, over episodes four, five, and six because the excitement of having after thirty years seen yeah. a new Star Wars, all, yeah, right. the, the, a good new Star Wars, which is what well, I'm saying with the fight scenes. Well, yeah. Give it some time. Yeah, give it so, some time and go see it again. Because oh, right now, right now, of this. right now, we're enough just hyped. This. We're just, <laughs> right now we're just hyped because it happened. And 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 I, 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 I the reason why I'm able to do this now is because I learned from Avengers, because 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 you, you remember it was a quasi religious experience uh -huh. seeing Avengers. It was it was yeah. But when you look back, there were there were tons of flaws. Like and I, I started looking at the flaws when I saw on this trailer. I'm like, oh right, there was this this and that. So once the hype dies down from it, you'll I I, I think everyone's going to be able to look at it and, and see you know like look at it for what it is the good and the bad, the light and the dark. Yeah, but that I, already, said, I already know where I already know where this movie sits for me. So okay, number one, let me get my first favorite movie is Empire Strikes Back. Oh, okay, the best one to me. Then I like uh, Return of the Jedi, then A New Hope, then The Force Awakens. That's it. I love how we all stopped <laughs> at the same point. We're like the first, the first three, and then seven. <laughs> That's the right thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's how that's how we count numbers. It goes four, five, six, seven. That's that's all the numbers that exist until eight comes out. Exactly. <laughs> the prequels oh this is this is another another video for another day. I can't because it we should actually do it. We should do we should everything we think it. is wrong with the prequels. Yeah, let's okay, just, we um, have a candid discussion. The the, the the opening sequence to the end sequence. No, you know <laughs> what? No, <laughs> but episode, episode three has some good stuff. Episode uh, three was great. Yeah. Episode three was really good. I love Palpatine. Um, you know, it just it had it followed some really bad movies, and it didn't really have much to. It was just it was just it followed some bad movies. And the the fact of the movie. matter was, my major problem with Episode three is that Anakin didn't just decide. You know, since since Padme is going to die, or I can't I can't take care of her, then I'm going to take over the universe. And then that's going to be how I protect her. And so, like, if you had just taken it and made it so that he willfully decided to take over the galaxy, as opposed to no. he kind of got led into it because he was a punk kid who was about to lose his girlfriend, 
then I I don't have a problem with it. And he wasn't he was, a loser. Yeah, no, he, he, like, so yeah, he, he actually <laughs> killed her himself. Yeah, that's how he lost it. Yeah, so if well, he, he still had just, died. <laughs> <laughs> so if, no, and that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that's the other thing. Hayden Christensen doesn't have really the most imposing physique. So when he was actually put into the Darth Vader costume, he looked weak. He <laughs> did. I mean, I just, I looked at him and I was like, that's terrible. The guy who was Darth Vader in, in episodes four, five, and six looks so much more imposing. He was also a grown ass man. <laughs> <laughs> Hayden Christensen is like, what, 19? <laughs> 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 Can't really compare the two. It's like barely out of puberty, right? He's like, "Hey guys, I'm Darth Vader." <laughs> <laughs> Dark. I can't drive yet. I need a ride. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I mean, but no, yeah, it was. It, 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 it was definitely though. It was definitely. It was definitely a good movie. It was not one, two, and three. Mm-hmm. So if you were if you were afraid of it sucking, it does not suck. Mm-hmm. Not even close. Not even close. It is a really really good movie. And the X wing is back for me. That that was a personal that, favorite. And it was just, black and orange. Oh, the colorway is so cool. Right. But, but that's it for this video, guys. We're probably going to do it in the nerd room about this at some point. Um, Next year. Probably, yeah. Like, you know, we'll, we'll probably, we'll probably going to take a break. Then we're going to look at the, the video again, and or the movie again, and probably have some new thoughts, see some new things we didn't see the first time. Yeah. Um, uh, Here's some dialogue we didn't hear because there's some funny scenes in there, yeah. and people are laughing. Right. Like, Shut up. I right. can't hear. <laughs> um, we're gonna uh, during the break though. We're gonna be doing an event at a orphanage called Maryville. We're gonna be doing an event based off of our comic Heroes or Us. We're gonna you know help uh, kids uh, draw themselves as superheroes, make their own stories. Um, all of us are gonna be there. Um, there are rules on photography and video, so we will just tell you what happened. Um, but we're doing that event. If you would like to uh, support our efforts in doing that, we have our GoFundMe. You can just donate money and then leave a note. You know, say it's for you know for the orphanage for Maryville or something. Um, but that's what we're doing in our off time. Uh, so, I mean, that's going to be gonna be a pretty cool yeah, event. Have some holiday fun. cheer and, and donate to the GoFundMe. Anyways, though, guys, that's what we're doing during our break. Have a good Christmas. Go see Star Wars. Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah. It's over. Hanukkah's over. Is it over? Yeah. Hanukkah's over? Yeah, Hanukkah's over. <laughs> Hanukkah's <laughs> Anyways, guys, until next time, we've been your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. Age of Astron here. See you later, guys. Peace. May the force be with you.